Hi, for this recording, I'll show you how to do this question on Riemann sum. The question is concerned about function f of x, which is equal to x squared for x between 0 and half, excluding half, and it's equal to 1 minus x for x between half and 1. Now, the first part is to sketch the function. Second part will determine the lower Riemann sum of the partition and the upper Riemann sum of partition on in the interval 0 to 1. The partition is 0 to 1 third, 1 third to half, half to 3 quarter, 3 quarter to 1. So let's try to answer that question first. Now the first part is draw a curve. So I have drawn a graph here. The graph consists of two pieces. One is f x equal x squared. So f of x equal x squared will be this here. And the other half, this is for x be 0 to half. And it will be 1 minus x. When x equal to half, y equal to half. When x equal to 1, y equal to 0. For x between half and 1. So the graph consists of two pieces. And notice that this is an open circle. When x equal to half. And on the, on the other hand, this is a solid circle. Okay, now let's look at the partition. The partition is from 0 to 1 third. So 1 third is somewhere around here, 1 third. 1 third to half. From 0 to 1 third, 1 third to half. Half to 3 quarter. 3 quarter is around here. And 3 quarter to 1. So these are the partition. Now we are going to compute the upper Riemann sum and lower Riemann sum. Let's compute a lower Riemann sum first on the first part on the partition. So let me change the color. So the first on the first interval from zero to one third, we know that the increment of y is this thing. So this is m1. Then on the second interval. The smallest y is on one third. So, then, so this is m2 from one third to half, right? Just now the first partition is the first partition is from zero to one third. Second partition is one third to half. The third partition is half to three quarter, and the smallest value of y in this case is between. 1 minus 3 quarter is 1 quarter, or which is uh, 1 quarter also, when x equal to half is also 1 quarter. So when x equal to 3 quarter, the value of y is m3 is 1 quarter, is 1 minus 1, qu 1 minus 3 quarter is 1 quarter, or you can take this also, this is also the same. Also one quarter, this is one quarter square. No, we should ignore this one. I just leave it on the third interval. Okay. And then on the fourth interval, the value of M4 is zero. And the length of each interval, right? The length of each interval, the first interval, the length is delta x1 is equal to one, one third delta x2 is half minus one third is one over six delta x3 is one three quarter minus half is one quarter and delta x4 is one minus one quarter is also one quarter so in order to find the lower Riemann sum, I may compute the value of m2 is x squared when x equal to 1 third is 1 over 9, m1 is equal to 0. So based on this information, then I can compute the lower Riemann sum, which is 0 times 1 third. Alright, so 
0, times 1 third, which is the length of the inter first interval, 119 times 1 third, which is the length, 106, which is the length of the second interval, 1 quarter times the length of the interval is 1 quarter, 0 is M4 times the length of the interval. So, okay, the length of the interval for the first interval is 1 third, second interval is 1 over 6, third interval is 1 quarter, fourth interval is 1 quarter, and adding up, you get 35 over 432. This is how you compute the lower limit sum. Okay, let's continue to look at the upper remand sum. In order to do the upper remand sum, I need to find the maximum of y or the supplement of y on each interval. Now, on the first sub interval from 0 to 1 third, the largest value of y is when y equal to 1 third, when x equal to 1 third, and this can be found here. So, this is m1, which is 1 third square is 1 over 9. Then on the second interval, the largest value of y from one third to half is here. This is when x equal to half, this is m2, this 1 minus half is half. And then from the third interval, the largest value, the third interval from one half to three quarter, the largest value of y is also here, m3 which is equal to half, same. Then on the fourth interval, from 3 quarter to 1, the largest value of y is actually when x equal to 3 quarter, so it's m4 is 1 minus 3 quarter is 1 quarter. So the value of a supremum or maximum, in this case, first value is 1 over 9, then half, then half, 1 quarter. So make use of that, so we can find that we have the value of the supplement or maximal. Okay, in this case, the first value is M1 is 1 over 9, M2 is 1 over 2, M3 is 1 over 2, M4 is 1 quarter. So in order to find the upper remand sum, UFP, okay, so, so the M1 is 1 over 9, M2 is 1 over 2, M3 is 1 over 2, M4 is 1 quarter, and the interval, length of interval, the first interval is 1 third, second interval is 1 over 6, third interval, the length is 1 quarter, fourth interval is 1 quarter, and you multiply and add them up, then you get the upper remand sign is 133 3 over 432. That's the end of the recording for this particular question.